good morning today is saturday i'm about to head out actually so we are going to see this exhibition it's a louis vuitton exhibition downtown at trinity place it's free but you need um to register to get tickets so a friend of mine was nice enough to give me a ticket so uh, a bunch of us are going to see what it's all about i think it's like about a history of louis vuitton as a brand and how they developed over time and blah blah, blah. so uh, I'm excited to see that. I'm not sure if I can film there, but if I can, maybe I'll take a few um, snippets and insert them into this vlog. And then later today, we're going out for dinner. I got two dress options and my hair, I don't know. Um, no makeup, well, minimal makeup. Uh, so yeah, I have two dress options, so I'm gonna um, have Andy pick which one he likes most. My family voted, but... Um, yeah, the judgment is still out there. Okay, um, I had two bananas for breakfast because I know we're going out today for dinner. I'm just gonna be very well behaved during the day, <laughs> extremely well behaved. And um, yeah, I don't know where I'm going with this. So this is the what original camels look like and then his son apparently invented the uh, monogram camel. Okay, you guys, an original bucket bag designed to hold five buckets of, I'm sorry, five bottles of champagne. So this would be a standard picnic setup, apparently, for the bougie people of the time era, I guess. Silver plates, silver everything, cutlery, champagne bag, and that's your picnic trunk. You know, just a casual picnic in the country. <laughs> how cool, this is so cool. Welcome to the Orient Express. Uh, this is how people travel during the late, uh, late 19th and the early 20th century. Um, still, the traveling through Europe was still considered as dangerous at the time because not all the roads were paved and um, there were no like side roads, like hotels or any accommodation that were available at the time. So a lot of travel, a, a lot of people travel on rail. So this is uh, Orient Express is, was considered as a hotel on rail where everything was available. Um, for the travelers, they would be able to lodge or just uh, lounge uh, throughout their journeys. So the Orient Express started in Paris and then the, they traveled through the Europe and eventually um, all the travelers arrived in Turkey. So this is a really long journey, it's just a couple of weeks to travel. Um, as you can see, um, they had to bring a lot of pieces of luggage and accommodate these type of travel. Uh, a lot of that, yes, um, that's a uh, metaphor bag, uh, what does that mean? Oh, so these are actual hotel labels. 
you would get when traveling. How cool. It's a beauty. So these are all the pieces that were worn by celebrities on red carpet designed by Louis Vuitton okay. That's the top of the Freedom Tower sticking out. We're in the Oculus for those who are not very familiar. Time to go home. Hey guys, oh, I'm gonna come here, but the lighting is, you know, it's dark. So we're getting ready to head out, and I just did my makeup. And as you can see, it's my kind of standard, standard thing I always do. So, um, cat eye, cat Van D, underage dread, same contouring I always do, hair, just washed it and nothing too crazy. This coat is the one I showed you that I got from Michael Kors from Netta Porter, I really like it. And uh, this lovely, lovely baby, it's a velvet white cell with a tassel and my um, suede... Uh, Stuart Weitzman boots and this dress actually gave Andy a few options so he decided on this Ted Baker one I guess he really liked it. I think it looks very nice and cute <laughs> Let's see. Let me see. I think it looks really nice. I like it. Yeah, okay, so we're all ready We're going for dinner and I really want to go for drinks too um What's the name? Rain's Law Room. So hopefully we can get in. We'll see. This coat is surprisingly warm, I have to say. Although it doesn't really zip up, but we're driving, so I'm not too worried. <sighs> I like my makeup. I used that Kat Von D palette that I got, that I showed you. I just put some, like, a more shimmery shadow from the Becca palette. I actually really like both purchases. I think it, it was, you know, a really good... Um, Thing that I snatched those while I still could and Kat Von D eyeliner trooper on the eyes it's the best one I mean it's the only one I really tried I really like it it doesn't really go anywhere but it's easy to get off so yeah I pardon the mess good morning no makeup it is Wednesday and uh, today I'm officially on my vacation until the 1st of January oh I mean 2nd so 2nd of January I'm going back to work and I have a um, we have some people over today for dinner and I really didn't want to clean myself so I asked our cleaning lady if she could come and fix the apartment up because it was really messy I don't know what we were doing during the past couple of weeks but it got really messy so anyways um, I'm gonna probably go to a coffee shop by my house and just sit there and I wanted to work on a couple of blog posts because I have a bunch of pictures that are um, kind of backing up <laughs> anyway so I'm gonna probably go sit at a coffee shop just grab some breakfast and 
what i think that's it that's the plan for today she said she's coming around eight it's eight i woke up at 7 30 she better be coming at eight and um uh yeah so i had my birthday party this saturday it was a lot of fun my friends actually threw me a surprise that <laughs> Oh, I was I wasn't expecting at all, but when I entered the restaurant, the lady was like, "Oh hi, so yeah, um, you're with that big party." Uh, my camera cut off. Where was I? Oh yeah, so birthday party. We it was it was a lot of fun. They um, booked a nice restaurant. It was like really nice, and then we went for drinks, and uh, and then um, Kathy was the only survivor. Oh my goodness! By like midnight, and we <laughs> we went for some Korean food in Koreatown. And um, one of the kind of presents, Kathy actually got me a diffuser, which I love. Um, it's like right there, I'm gonna show you later. Um, I love using diffusers in the winter time. And it's just like my favorite thing because the air gets dry and you can infuse it with essential oils and it's like soothing and it's really good. And then another friend got me these, this hot sauce set. And they're like this bougie, fancy hot sauces. And I was just smelling them. They're really cool. So you have tequila, jalapeno, and lime, scotch bonnet, and ginger, red habanero, and black coffee hot sauce. How cool is that? I'm gonna give it a shot. Uh, on my avocado toast, but not today, unfortunately. Yeah, uh, what else? Yeah, I think that's it. Let me get going. Uh, I think I'm actually gonna wait until she actually comes so I don't go there at 8 and then she shows up at 9 30. Oh I also wanted to show I got um, um I got a few more skincare items because my skin I don't know it was just really not doing that great. I don't know if it was hormonal or what what the hell that was but I got rose water and this is not my preferred one. This one has glycerin. I prefer like organic just pure rose water but i was trying to buy it on amazon and there you don't have all the good vendors you should have just go to like whole foods or something um i was trying to find it on amazon and there were like some with like really mixed reviews so i was like let me just get this one because for sure this one there's nothing fishy about this one and i know they sell it at whole foods uh, and i've been using uh so i've been incorporating this so i would do toner than this and then and then i also wish this uh, you like um, YouTuber, I guess she's this Russian girl, but she looks amazing. She's 35. She looks, she's vegan and like she has beautiful hair, beautiful skin, everything. And she gave a few suggestions um, as to the skincare that she uses. So I ordered a couple of things, but she was talking about um, vitamin C serum, and she's using. She had this one link. I just got it. I actually haven't used it, but I'm going to. But I got this vitamin c serum by mad hippie i i told you i mostly use organic skincare uh so this uh little thing by mad hippie it's a vitamin c serum and i've been using it I actually really like it either on its own is it focusing yeah so either on its own like i would do toner then rose water then i would do um this uh, pharmacy um, invincible root cell anti-aging serum I really like it I don't know what it is about it it's just so light and like I, I really feel like it kind of freshens up the look of my skin so I would do this one it absorbs really quickly it's like water then I would I feel like my skincare routine became like this 10 step Korean skincare routine or something but and then I would do this one and then fo follow up if I feel like my skin still feels dry I would follow up with some um, some kind of a moisturizer or something like that I don't really have a good recommendation for a moisturizer I've been using this one Andalou Naturals Probiotic Plus C Renewal Cream and it's okay but I can't say it's doing anything like dramatic to my skin I don't think so but I thought vi vitamin C serum is supposed to like even out your skin tone and help with like brightness and things like that. And I could really use, I could really use some of that. Okay. 
Okay, that was a random tangent. Oh, and also, as this tree is drying out, it starts to smell amazing. Like, it smells amazing in the apartment. It smells like Christmas. But I think it's because the tree started to dry out. So, I don't know. Because when we brought it fresh, it didn't really smell that much. But it really does now. Oh, it's lovely. Okay. A day full of... Oh, we're having some Andy's uncle and aunt for dinner. So I'll show you what we cook. We like made this fancy menu. Oh, I think I need to get the shrimp out of the freezer. Oh, not necessarily. So we're gonna do shrimp appetizer as and then... Oh, I forgot, like a cheese board. And then we're gonna grill some fish. I think he got some brinzino. And also serve it with asparagus and like tomato avocado salad. How cool is that? <laughs> I'm so proud of myself. Well, Andy's gonna cook the fish, I'm gonna cook the rest. Because last time we hosted a party at home, actually, I really enjoyed the experience. I don't know, we always go out. So I think in the future, I'm gonna be doing more house parties because I really like it. Okay, I think I'm gonna get going, guys. See you in a, in a bit. So I got an almond latte and avocado toast. How good this looks. Their ceiling is amazing. Okay, so that's what we ended up with. Mm, not my favorite, but it'll have to do. It's on. Let me know. And then I had enough to put some flowers in the bedroom as well. I quite like uh, white and green combo. I wish I had more like kind of filler flowers or something that um, would just fill in the bouquet a little more, but I guess we'll have to do with what we have. So I think it looks fine. I think everyone's coming, but I just wanted to show you we're still kind of cooking. But I think it looks like super cozy and cute. And we have an epic cheese board. Three kinds of cheese, there's some salami, some prosciutto under a pile of, oh, and there's soccer on, I don't know. Some shrimp, and some kind of a butter garlic sauce, and a salad. And there's gonna be a brinzino and asparagus. It's in the process of being made. Good morning, today is Friday. <clears throat> And I just woke up yesterday, we had some people stay over, we cooked a big dinner and then me and Andy went out to do some chores at night. So I should have just stayed at home, I just kind of kept him company but anyways. So today I have a few things I need to do. Well first breakfast, I'm going to show you what I'm having. Okay, I have this green smoothie so I put some lettuce I had some collard greens and then I have some bananas cranberries and then that uh, frozen berry mix that I like and I have fresh raspberries in this beautiful beautiful dish that I got in Moscow when I was traveling how gorgeous and it's so light and pretty and I'm always paranoid that someone's gonna put it either in a dishwasher or break it that person will not be my friend okay I have a couple of these, they're like so pretty. I'm gonna show you, I have another one that I use for like um, fruit. It's like a, I guess like a candy or like a salad dish. I'm not sure what it is exactly, but it is so pretty. I just put some like tangerines in there. And I also got this one in Moscow, it's like a different uh, style. It's a wood bowl and it's painted by hand with this beautiful, beautiful design. It's actually really inexpensive, like if you buy it there, for the amount of effort and the fact that it's homemade. Oh, I'm sorry, handmade. I need to pack today, but I wanna go into the city. I wanna try to find a suitcase. Uh, oh no, sorry, what am I even saying? Suitcase. Uh, swimming suit. Um, Swimming suit because the one I have, I had it for a million years and I want something cooler and I wanted to maybe go to American Apparel and try one of those one piece, uh, 
one piece suit that is so trendy right now we shall see if it's gonna look good on me or not <laughs> i doubt it but i want to give it a shot also i need to buy maybe like a cute little dress that is kind of casual but not too hot that i can actually walk around in because andy washed my favorite one and now it's shrunk to a size negative two so i can't wear that one i don't think i can give it away either it's just really small at this point um what else so yeah i think that's it and i'm gonna show you what i got oh and i also want to pop into lululemon and see if i can get a pair of shorts because last time we went to st lucia i brought all these dresses and whatever fufu outfits and really all you really need is a couple of pairs of shorts a couple of tank top maybe one two dresses because it's just like it's really casual and we were walking so much and some comfy shoes so that's where i'm gonna focus my energy today we have to wake up tomorrow <laughs> at five in the morning because we have an 8 a.m flight so that's that i'm using that vitamin c serum now i have two one by matt hippie and the other one by sc or whatever the, that i was showing you yesterday my skin better look brighter i'm telling you the amount of vitamin c serum things i'm piling up on it i think soon it's just gonna just shine like a star anyway i'm gonna have my breakfast and get going but I'm also gonna try to Skype with my family because I won't be able to do it over the weekend as I'm not sure there'll be internet connection at the place we're going to so I don't want to take any chances okay guys see you in a bit oh hey guys it is much later in the day I don't even know I had the most unsuccessful shopping trip ever oh my lips are feeling dry I bought a bunch of stuff but not anything that I needed to buy basically I went out to get like a cute summery dress but something like casual that I can actually like walk around a lot in and I wanted to also get swimsuit I got none of those things so I'll show you what I got I stopped by the Union Square Christmas market oh my goodness it was so cute I ordered a huge waffle I think this memory card is really full, it keeps cutting off. Okay, what was the thing? Okay, I'm gonna show you what I got. I stopped by the Union Square uh, Christmas market to get a, I, I just wanted to browse, but I saw a few stands with some, they have a lot of artwork, a lot of jewelry, but I don't know, jewelry, really, I guess it depends, but they have a lot of like artists doing like prints and paintings and photos and I, I just liked a couple of things that I got and I think they'll be perfect addition. I really have no space to hang any more pictures, but I don't know, I really like this. And these, this is from Alcadabra Gallery. So you can, you know, look them up if you want. They have all kinds of beautiful photography, all kinds of different sizes of prints. And I got three, I think it was three for 50. And they're, all of them are like pictures of New York and this is so quintessentially New York like I can see myself walking there and it just makes me feel cozy and all holiday ready so this one this looks like something center street I'm not sure this looks like maybe somewhere in the village or something like Tribeca ish I'm not sure oh like can you see I think it's really cool and then another one this looks like Midtown yeah, somewhere, this looks like Bryan Park in Midtown. How cool is this one? I thought it was so, so awesome. My battery is dying. Wonderful. And then this one. Oh, she's a beauty. I love them. I'm going to, I don't know where I'm going to hang them, but somewhere. Okay, I'm going to shut up. Then I got some prints from animalsleepstories.com. I don't know. You can check them out if you want. They have really cool very cool print i got two of course i had to get a cat because doesn't he look like charlie just as lazy looking really cute and they have them framed too but and this one how cool is this can you see it oh it's beautiful i love it i don't know what i'm gonna do with it yet this is just so cool but i'm gonna do something okay let's move on see what else i got Oh, I stopped by Nordstrom Rack and got this. I thought this would be so cool to layer under a sweater or a dress or something. It's just a very sheer, stretchy um, top. Really cute. 
I think it's really cool and it has a beautiful neckline. I love stuff like that. And I also, oh my goodness, I'm like, like battling against the time. And I also got a pair of rag and bone jeans. I thought they were really cool. I love denim like that. Um, and I don't have anything like this. And they have a really cool, like unfinished hem. And it's kind of a shorter in the front, longer in the back. I haven't tried them on because I was in a rush. And then I went to Lululemon and um, I needed a pair of shorts and a tank top of some sort. So I just got a very simple tank top because we're going away and I don't know, I was going to my class, they have so much stuff but I don't have any like really functional clothing. So I just got this tank top. I also got a really cute uh, sports bra. I think this would look so cool. It has a mesh detail in the front, really cute. And the pair of high-waisted shorts. These are really short, but really high-waisted. I like that. And then I got a bunch of shorts for Andy to try out. Whew, I think that's it. Okay, you guys, I'm going to start packing. I have a nail appointment that I need to go to because my nails look totally disgusting. Uh, they haven't been done since summertime. On my feet, that is. And also, at 6 o'clock, uh, we found somebody to babysit Charlie to come feed him twice a day So she's gonna be coming and I have to show her like where everything is and take her name down and put a note for the concierge downstairs Did I say I need to pack? Okay uh, <laughs> Okay, I'm going but but I'll see you in a little bit. Bye. Hey guys just wanted to quickly pop on and say something so I have this Josie Marin etheric some kind of finishing balm thingy that I got um, as a sample at Sephora and, and I was like, today when I was doing makeup, I was like, oh, let me put this on as a primer because you can use it as a primer or as a finishing balm and because uh, I was like, oh, I have this pot, let me, um, you know, I'm working on using it up and check this out. Can you see the reaction it gave me? I hope it's focusing. Yeah, oh, okay, there we go. Yeah. And we're going on vacation tomorrow. This is not cool at all. Don't even bother with this crap, honestly. I don't even understand why companies would put... <laughs> it is crap. I would, don't even understand why companies would put ingredients that would give you this. I don't even have like sensitive skin or anything. Like, check this out. And it's like texture and redness and bumps and we're leaving for vacation tomorrow garbage complete complete total garbage <laughs> oh i'm i'm gonna also end here i think because tomorrow we're flying out we have to wake up at five in the morning <sighs> yeah so next time i talk to you i'm gonna be in saint lucia bye